So this is the part two of the low power module. In this part, we're going to do an estimation of the power consumption. So the objective is to use the power tool that is inside the STM32 CubeMX and to estimate the average power consumption of the low power lab that we just finished before. So we're going to start this new lab. So in STM32 CubeMX, we're going to use the low power project, the same one that we used previously for the low power part one. And we're going to click on the tools tab right here on the STM32 QMX. So in this tab, we're going to enter some values like VDD. So we're going to select three volt, and also the battery selection. So for the battery selection, we're going to use two AA in series. So to get a nominal voltage of three volt. So in STM32 CubeMX, I'm going to the tools tab right here. So on the right corner, and I'm going to start selecting so VDD at three volts and selecting the batteries. So looking for double A's. I'm going to use two in series in order to get a nominal voltage of three volts. Now we're going to start by adding steps. The first step we're going to add is the run mode. So the run mode will have the following features. A voltage range two, so medium, you know, for the voltage range. Then running from flash at VDD 3 volt, the voltage source will be the battery. Uh, we're going to run at 16 megahertz from the HSI and enable all the IPs from the pinout functions. So we're going to import all the different IPs or peripherals that we are using in the previous uh, project. And then for the duration, that will be the one second. So that's basically the run mode that we were doing before. For one second, we are, you know, blinking or turning on the LED. So then once we add, you know, all of this step, you should have a power consumption of this step of 1.6 milliamp. So that's the power consumption for run mode with the, the following features right there. Let's add the first step. So the first step is a run mode with a voltage range, we said of voltage range two, so medium. We are running from flash. VDD is selected to be three volt from battery for the voltage source. The CPU will be running at 16 megahertz. For the clock, that's from the HSI. And the duration of this will be one second. Okay, for the peripherals, we're going to enable all the peripherals selected, you know, from the project that we defined in low power. So GPIOA, GPIOC, RTC, and also the voltage reference. Okay, now I can add, you know, this. So the step consumption will be 1.6 milliamp, you know, as expected. So now we can add this step. Now we're going to add the stop one mode. So to do this, same thing, we're going to add a step. So another step that will be a stop one mode with a flash power down, three volt. We're going to wake up with HSI 60 megahertz. The RTC is enabled and the duration of this step will be five seconds. And then we can add it. So this should be 3.4 microamp. Now we're going to add the second step. So new step, which is the stop one mode. So stop one mode with a flash power down, three volts from battery. For the clock configuration, we're going to have HSI and the duration of this step is going to be the five seconds. The RTC will be on, remember, because we're going to wake up from RTC. So this result in a step consumption of 3.4 microamp as expected. Okay, and now I'm adding this step. The last step we're going to add is the wake up from stop one mode. So this is a step. So we're going to add, you know, one more steps. So which is WU, so wake up from stop mode, free volt, battery, and then just add. So this power consumption should be about 1.21 milliamp, you know, like for this step. That's the resulting step consumption. And then we're going to add this step. Last step, so new step, 
which is a wake up. So W from stop one, three volts battery, uh, nine micro. So that's the worst case, you know, for wake up of stop one mode. And then I'm going to click on add. The tool provides us at the end, you know, like the average power consumption of this application. So this profile, let's say, power profile. So here we see 269.5 microamp average consumption, you know, for this application. So this result, because, you know, we selected the batteries AA in a battery life estimation of one year, one month and 27 days. So the tool is providing us here in the corner, so the right, lower right corner, 269.5 microamp for the average power consumption and the battery life estimation of one year, one month and 27 days.